Welcome back to the channel everyone, Roni from Traveling Trekkies. We are at beautiful Bob Hall Pier, especially, and, well, the Pier and RV Park. Bob Hall Pier RV Park. So, we just want to go ahead and do a quick video about our RV. We've got a Solitude S-Class Grand Design 2930RL and, well, hold on. Honey, what are you doing? Getting the fishing rods. No, babe, those are hitching rods, not fishing rods. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Michelle from Traveling Trekkies. Hi, everyone. Yes, yes. <laughs> babe, these are, remember when we had the Denali, we had the hitching rods that hooked the trailer up in the truck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so these are the hitching rods, not the fishing rods. Nonetheless, to find something to do with them, right? Yeah, well, maybe I don't know where the pier is at. Maybe we could go fishing or something. Oh, I know where the pier is. It is that way. There we go. These serve a great purpose. <laughs> they're pointers. They're yes, pointers. And they're, they're sabers. No, but we're into Star Trek, not Star yeah, Wars. That's right. Yeah. I mean, different show. Anyway, so guys, follow along. We're going to give you a review of the RV interior and exterior. We'll probably break it up into two parts. Um, but again, traveling Trekkies with a review of our Grand Design 2930RL. Again, Bob Hall Pier RV Park, or what I like to call it, I believe it's Newey's County Park. Again, one of our favorite getaway spots. Our neighbor has a solitude. Grand Design products are very heavily featured here in this park. I believe I saw a couple Imagine trailers here as well. But folks, this is the pièce de résistance, as they say it. This is ours. Grand Design 2930RL. S-Class. So we're gonna do a quick exterior walk around. We are pulling our unit with a Ford F-250. Also installed Airlift 5000 ultimate airbags. We have a BMW companion hitch. So we're going to start up front of the coach and we'll go into the front storage bay. It's a little dirty. Had a few bugs on the way down so it looks like we need to do some cleaning once we get home. We haven't put out a video yet about our experience of installing the snap pads. Still trying to get that edited into something else but we do have snap pads. Thanks to Changing Lane RV and the Getaway Couple about talking about snap pads. All right. So we do not have a generator up front. I keep just a few of the chalks, a kingpin stand, the dealership did install a second battery. Wheel chocks and a few other things is all I keep up here. Got some foam padding around just to make sure that everything doesn't bounce around too much. Lipping components. This looks really neat at night when you light up the LED strip here and then the whole front nose cap has a LED strip and it kind of starts right underneath where it says S-Class and goes all the way up so it's really bright. So you can see there's some LED lights here to kind of light up, especially at night when you come over to the wet bay side. 30 gallon propane tanks. The past 
through storage is amazing. That's one of the things that we did like about our early model, which was the Grand Design 2400 BH. It had a lot of pass through storage, but again, upgrading to a fifth wheel, we get more storage. And we can accommodate a lot of the items that we bought for our previous travel trailer. We, by default, got auto leveling with this. It has taken some use, getting used to, but nonetheless, we really like it. We had an experience with our low point drain valves where you have to take this unit back to the dealership. It seems that the O-rings were broken or are, there was a problem with them. So keep in mind, you always have to have a bunch of spare parts. That night we ran over to Lowe's. Once I figured out it was the O-rings in the low point drain valve, which was why water kept just dripping everywhere and just spewing out from the bottom. Went and picked up a number six O-ring tried to find some information in our user manual about part numbers, but nonetheless, we took the old O-ring over there, eight o'clock at night, brought it back, and it's working for now. I need to get the unit back over to the dealership so they can actually, actually fix it properly. But we do like this P1 Nautilus system. I've done something a little bit different on how I've bifurcated the hoses down here, but it works for me. I believe it is a 10 gallon water heater, if I'm not mistaken. Works really good. We went and actually got the uh, power grip plug for the 50 amp. Okay. And of course, all of our Camco lines and hoses running back to the peg. One of the things that I like to install, not everybody does this, but it's just a little bit of extra support underneath the slide outs. You don't put a lot of tension or anything on them. I know the slides are designed to maintain the weight properly without having to add these extra supports, but it's just a little bit of extra knowing that, hey, you know what? It helps keep the trailer stable. That's the thing I like about it the most. Over here is our inline water. I would like to, I don't have the know how, so I need to find someone who would love to team up with me and help me install one of the in. I believe it's called a surge protector. I can't really, I can't remember the model name, but you actually install it in your coach. So I won't have to use the external one, but nonetheless, this is working out pretty good. I saw that the wonderful Weekenders installed one in their coach, and it seems to be working out pretty good. So I just need to find someone in our home state who's very well versed on these kind of things who can kind of help me out. All right. Here is the back of the coach. Again, we put the uh, put in the uh, Furion backup camera. This is a big shout out to all the veterans out there. Love my Air Force veterans. Love my military veterans in general. One of the neat things about this unit is the fact that we can add a bike hitch or bike rack or fishing rack. So we were going to do something like that on the other RV, but there was so much confusion as opposed about if you added anything to the bumper of the travel trailer, if you voided the warranty, all these various things, so we decided not to do anything. So I'm really glad that this unit already came with it pre-installed. Again, just a little bit more of the park. 
just a really really nice park there is the main building over there we check in and I will attach some footage of the last time we were down here when we just went and drove down the beach for a little while again more G-rated tires and I'll show you here quickly that I did put the TPMS monitor the EZRV TPMS monitor a really good review by changing lanes RV about TPS monitors we didn't actually go I believe this is the one they had before they upgraded to a different unit but we had already purchased this one from Amazon um, the signal seems to drop just actually the signal was pretty good when we came down here I didn't really, really lose too much didn't have a lot of interference I do have the repeater that I will install just to kind of give it a little bit of a boost but other than that it did really really good I like the slam latch, baggage doors, but nonetheless, it's all really about the storage. Just lots and lots of storage. We don't really actually have a lot of stuff in here. It just kind of seems like it because those are bulky items. Got a little bit of a ladder. Keep a barbecue pit in here. There is an area in here for a light. And I don't know if you can see this or not. A GFI outlet and cable. Here is the other tank. We did buy one of those Bluetooth, um, I believe it's sensor and monitor for the propane that I need to install. So we'll do that in another project. But this is it for the exterior. Okay, a really, really nice coach. There's a lot of other folks who can go into all the detailed numbers. Um, but this is what works for us. I do like the more ride steps. I thought that that was something we were going to lose when we left the travel trailer, but when I saw that this unit had it as well, kind of got exciting because, or I'm sorry, not the more, this one's called the step above, the step above step. I think the other ones had more right on it. I'm trying to stay as stable as I can, because I know how it is out there on YouTube. When you have a lot of shaky videos, it just it gets really annoying. So, all right. So here it is, folks. The Grand Design 2930 RL. So let's go inside and talk about it some more.